There are 256 figures to collect in Kirby and the Forgotten Land in order to get a 100% completion rating on your file. Let's take a deep dive into how to collect them all as easy as possible. How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another awesome Kirby in the Forgotten Land tips and tricks tutorial video. I know a lot of you guys out there are trying to get 100% on your completion rating. So on this tutorial, we're going to teach you guys exactly how to get all 256 of the figures within the game as easy as possible and without breaking the bank. Trust me, there's a lot of coins that you're going to need, but there's a lot of tips that will definitely help you out with getting this in the most efficient way possible. Anyway, Thank you so much, so much for watching. If you guys didn't already hit that subscribe button, what are you guys waiting for? Join us for even more Kirby content. We've gone through and we've done the entire game 100%ed, getting all the Waddle Dees, all the figures, and absolutely everything. So definitely take a look at that playlist over there. And if you guys want more tips and tricks tutorial videos, we are filling up our entire playlist right over here. Take a look at it. And of course, if you guys want one of these awesome Kirby related tees, Definitely check out abdallasmash.com for these awesome merch ideas and items. So thank you for your support on all of it. All right, well, let's kick off this tutorial by giving you guys an overview of what exactly to expect within Kirby and the Forgotten Land and these gotcha machines. Now, if you take a look over here in Waddle D Town, after you go through and play a little bit more of the story, you're going to start unlocking all of these different machines. The way that you unlock them is pretty simple. It's just beating through the main story. Once you've already seen the end credits, you'll have access to all four volumes over here. And if you press the A button onto there, you can go over here and turn the crank and pay your star coins that you get from defeating enemies or just collecting in the overworld. Yeah, you're going to be able to pay and get a random gotcha capsule, and that will contain one of the 256 available. So now you'll see right over here, volume one has 10 coins as its price. If you take a look over here at volume two, it's twice as much at 20 coins. Right over here on volume three, there's 50 coins per crank. And then the last one is 100 coins per crank. And yeah, we're going to show you guys some tips on making sure that you optimize that and don't spend all of your money. So right off the bat, if you press the minus button on your collection, you'll be able to see every single one of these. Volume one has a total of 79 total figurines right over here. Right over here, volume two has a total of 78 of them very very easy volume 3 has 56 of them and then last but not least the most exciting and the most expensive one has about 43 of them for a grand total of 256 so super easy now you may be wondering hey how do you go about buying them I showed you a little bit earlier all you have to do is press the a button right over here and you'll be able to turn the crank now it says, it gives you a warning if you did collect all of them, you've collected all the currently available figurines from the crank, are you sure you want to waste your money? Yeah, you can absolutely do so. So going over here, pressing the A button on it, you'll get another double. So that's super simple. It pops open and what do you know, you got a little flavor text if you want to read on any of that stuff. Very, very easy. I say that as you're going through um, and buying all these things, pay attention to your collection because your collection will have a bunch of empty spots on it and you want to be able to find out which of these are going to be in the gotcha or if they're locked behind doing a certain mission within the game. So don't waste your money just by constantly cranking and hoping to get everything. There's certain volumes that have specific ones. Case in point, right over here, you'll be able to see that there's a little crown in the lower corner of this one and in the top corner by that times one. That means that it's not available in the gotcha, but you have to do something else in the game in order to receive this. So there's a bunch of them in volume one. Volume two over here doesn't have any of the crowned exclusive ones. Volume three, uh, does not have any of them either, but volume four has a bunch of them too. So that's exactly that. Now, in case you get a little impatient on going through and finding all these cranks, it's inevitable that you're going to get doubles, but in this game, you're not going to be able to do anything with the doubles. You can't sell them. It's just, hey, I, I got this and too bad, so sad you wasted your money. Kind of like gotcha in real life. But there is one thing that you can do if you really want to. Now, you can come over here to the Waddle D trader. He says, hey, heads up, like I'll be able to trade you um, a figurine that you don't have for your rare stones. It's a one-to-one -one trade, but he won't give you any of the exclusives that I talked to you about earlier. He'll just give you one that you don't have. Now, rare stones are very, very rare in the game, so I would absolutely stay away from this trader Waddle D with everything that you have. It is complete, it's a complete ripoff. So don't even deal with this guy. 
But if you're really, really banking on like, oh my gosh, I'm, I've got no more money and I need a couple more of these over here in the last volume four collection and you have some rare stones that you're not going to use, then go ahead and feel free to do so. But rare stones are going to be used for powering up your abilities and it's not like you can just get those very easily outside of the Colosseum mode. All right, anyway, so that's the overview of absolutely every single one of these on how to get them and everything like that. Let's go over all of the different exclusive ones and I'll show you guys exactly how to get those, the ones with the crowns on them. Now there's 15 earned exclusive figures within the game, so let's go through and detail every single one of them. Now right over here, this one is the Cafe Staff Kirby figurine. You'll see over here that you, in order to unlock this one, you have to play through all the different modes and beat the modes in the Kirby Cafe game right outside of the cafe and you'll see Waddle Dee over there. So beat those modes and then he'll give you this uh, little trophy here. Likewise, once you've unlocked fishing in the game, you'll be able to see that there is going to be the fishing pond Kirby that you're going to get from catching all the fish in there. Now, honestly, there's like only four or five different fish. If you get the gold one, then by all means, you'll be able to earn uh, a little trophy like that. Next up is going to be your Wise Waddle D. Wise Waddle D is right at the warp start at the very beginning. Talk to him a couple times. Uh, hear him drone on about all of his random stats that you don't really care about, and then he'll give you a, a little figurine of himself. Uh, next up is going to be the Delivery Waddle D. If you head on over to the Delivery Waddle D area within the game and then input a couple passwords, he'll be able to say, hey, thanks for inputting those passwords. Here's a figure. Easy. All right, next up is going to be the Cafe Staff Waddle Dee. You'll be able to get this figurine simply by buying a lot of items at the restaurant or at the cafe. So the only item that you're really going to want to buy is Maxim Tomatoes in case you need extra life within your uh, within the game, right? You may need that against some certain boss battles. If you buy a couple of those and use them and then buy them again, boom, you're all set. He'll give you this thing. All right, next up is going to be the Game Shop Waddle Dee. This is going to be a, a mode in the game where you're going to use the little tilt and tumble controls, tilt and roll, in order to beat that. So if you beat all of the expert levels and all the normal levels, he'll give you this little thing as a way of saying thanks. Uh, next up is going to be the Item Shop Waddle Dee. Same thing with the restaurant. Go over to the item shop where he sells like the power boost, the speed boost, the health boost, and then buy all those and uh, use them all. If you spend a certain amount of money over there, he'll eventually give you this little trophy here. Easy. Okay, so that's all of the things in volume one. Of course, we said earlier, volume two doesn't have any exclusives. Volume three doesn't have any exclusives either, but volume four does. Uh, the very first one is right over here. This is the commentator Waddle Dee. So if you go through the Colosseum mode and you play through the Meta Knight Cup, the Ultimate Cup, the Ultimate Cup Z, you do that and he'll eventually give you his little trophy here. It's really not that hard to get. Once you've completed the main game and, uh, of course, unlocked all the movies within there, you can see right over here that the Usher Waddle D is going to be available there. So talk to him at the front counter. He'll say congratulations for unlocking everything and then provide you with this figure. Uh, right over here is going to be the Deedly Dees. Outside of the movie theater, there's a little stage with some Waddle Dees. Uh, they're going to ask for some tips. So give them a thousand coins and tips. And then once they're done upgrading their gear, give them 2,000 coins and tips, and then they'll be able to give you their little trophy there. So that costs you about 3,000 coins. All right, moving on. As you can see right over this way, uh, this one's going to be main story mode. If you've gone through and found every single treasure road within the game, you know those little areas where they test your abilities with all of uh, Kirby's weapons and everything like that? Yeah, if you've gone through and beaten every single one of those, especially the ones at the very end that require you to have some secret weapons, like Morpho Knight Sword and Meta Knight Sword and Kirby's uh, little masked hammer. Um, once you beat all of those things, you don't have to beat them within the like the fastest time trial, but get them, obtain the rare stones, and you'll be able to get this one right over here. All right, uh, next up on our list is going to be this one here. This one is the Fecto Alphalus. If you beat the ultimate cup within the Colosseum for your first try or first time doing it, it doesn't matter if you continue, you'll be able to get this figurine. Just beat it all the way until the very end and use Maxim Tomatoes in order to help out with that. Right over here is beating the post-game story, where we have to go through and save Leon's soul. So if you find all of Leon's 300 soul pieces, you'll be able to get this as a reward at the very end. Very simple. And then last but not least, right over here is going to be the species Born of Chaos, Chaos Alphalus, which is the secret final boss within the game, only accessible in the Ultimate Cup Z in the Colosseum. Very, very hard to get there, but if you power yourself up with all sorts of power-ups, 
and you use a Morpho Knight sword and you bring your maximum tomato, it's going to be very simple for you. I've got a video showcasing that if you'd like to see. But anyway, that is going to be it for all the exclusives over here. Now, you may be wondering, hey, Abdallah, what exactly is going on with getting them? Why do I care about getting all of these? Well, it's pretty interesting because once you click on collection, uh, you'll be able to see some different background music or at least listen to some different background music as you do this. So it's specifically track number 91 in the game. So it, that's kind of cool, right? Get a little bit of different background music over here. And last but not least, of course, like I said earlier in the opener of the video, if you guys want to get 100% rating on your file, you are 100% going to need to do all of that because the final picture frame right over here in gold is locked behind the 100% file and collecting every single one of the 256 trophies is going to be a requirement for that. So anyway, super, super simple. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through a quick showcase of all 256 of these trophies. Feel free to slow down the footage at any given time in order to, I don't know, pause it and read up on it so that you guys can really get an understanding of what all these items are and a little bit more of the lore within the game.
So there you have it, all of the 256 different trophies within the game. Now, of course, inside Kirby's house, you can display them simply by going over to your collection, clicking on any single one of these, and pressing the plus button over here. Now, I've chosen to display my three favorite ones, including Morpho Knight and the two final bosses within the game. Let me know which of the figures is your favorite and why, of course, in the comments below. I can't wait to read all of those. Thank you so much for watching it, and if this video helped you achieve your 100% percent rating and just helped you out in general be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for even more Kirby in the Forgotten Land we'll see you on the next one take care